Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 20th of March 1602, the United East India Company, better known in Britain as the Dutch East India Company, was established. By the start of the 17th century, merchants from the Dutch Republic had begun to undertake voyages to the Spice Islands of the Indian Ocean. This put them in direct competition with established traders from other European nations, including both Portugal and Britain, both of whom had previously dominated the market. Due to the high risks involved for individual investors who mounted these individual voyages, the Dutch government supported the creation of a new umbrella company two years after the establishment of the competing English East India Company. The United East India Company in the Netherlands combined the various individual business interests into a single entity that was granted a 21-year monopoly on the Dutch spice trade. Consequently, the risk to investors was reduced since their individual funds were invested in the entire company's voyages, meaning that if some ships failed to return, they were not completely wiped out. In return, investors received an annual dividend of 18% of their investment. Known in the Netherlands as the VOC, the company grew to become arguably the first transnational corporation. Yet, by the middle of the 17th century, it had begun to function as a state within a state that possessed its own army and political authority over the lands in which it operated. Having usurped both the British and Portuguese competitors in the East Indies, the VOC dominated trade in the Indian and South Pacific Oceans for almost two centuries. During this time, the company sent almost a million European people to work in the region in almost 5,000 ships, more than the rest of the entire continent combined.